Hello, I'm Lady Aska and today we want to talk about textures. I can be honest when I say that I tried to record this video at least three times because it's really hard to narrow textures down to something that isn't as complex as it is. Because textures can literally make or break an avatar and there is no way of completely ignoring this fact. Though the real difficulty of making textures is that you got to have knowledge of how to recreate the look of materials like metals, leather and fabric in general. So the first step would be to decide which look you are going for and then try to find references for the specific types of fabric or materials. While you could theoretically get some of that done in B-Roid, it would be so much easier to do it in a graphic program. That's why I will show it in GIMP, which is a free to use program, so you don't have to pay for something fancy like Photoshop for example. But if you already have another program, all these tips will basically work the same, besides that the tools may be in a different location. Let's start somewhat simple and try to create some metal buttons. I'm pulling up a reference here and will try to recreate this look roughly, which is what you should do as well if you never did anything like this. GIMP offers certain tools to help you, like the path tool and the masking tool, to get the lines in the right position and without doing it freehand. For more in-depth tutorials on how to use these tools, check other tutorials online. Until this point, you don't even need to know how to draw. You are just filling or creating geometric shapes according to your reference. Once you roughly set your colors, you can go in with the smudge tool and the Dutch burn tool. As the name suggests, these help you with blending colors together or dark and light and already existing colors. You can experiment with that till you're happy with the result. Don't worry if it doesn't look extremely perfect, because later when we scale these to the outfit, a lot of the details will be lost anyway. Now we can go into Vroid and prepare our pattern for these buttons. We will create a copy and mark where we want these buttons to go later. A little dot as an indicator should be enough. Then we export this guide and open it in GIMP, or your program of choice, and copy our button in the respective places on a new layer. The new layer is important because we will actually get rid of the guideline layer after. After that, we export our buttons and import them back into Vroid Studio. You can see that there's some distortion going on. And to counteract that, we take note of the distortion. Is the button getting bigger or smaller? And in this case, shrink the button at the bottom down, same as the one in the middle, but a bit less and leave the last one because it already had the right size. Now we export the picture again, import it over our old version and can see that everything looks a lot better now already. To showcase a few more things, I will color parts of the coat dress brown now and set some shadows around our buttons to make them stand out a bit more. Then I proceed to add stripes here using the very practical line brush. Last but not least, we will add some shadows under the bust to make it all look a bit more three-dimensional. The trick here is to work with a darker shade and to try to get a nice shadow that looks neither too sharp nor too soft. By adjusting the opacity of the brush, we get some softer results here. I'm also using the brush with the softer edge and you see how our shadow forms around it. As you can see when I spin the model, the depth that it creates is nothing but an optical illusion. For the complete piece, I would have to consider the shadows on other parts as well and make it look convincing from all sides. So what we can take away from this is that to create your own textures, you have to have some basic knowledge about materials, about how shadows cast on these materials and how fabric would drape itself around the body. I always suggest to work with references. But with this knowledge, you should be able to try your hands on making your own textures. See you next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.